Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD. And if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on SCCM videos. Uh, today is all about KB4462978. Yes, a new uh, patch for your SCCM server. So these are some of the things that it fixed and the installation process. So let's get started. Again, these are just some of the highlights, but there's a bunch of issues that this particular KB uh, update fixes within the SCCM server. So if you're having one of these issues, push this update to your machine and you're good to go. Now, before you even push the update to your server, make sure you take a snapshot if it's a virtual machine or a backup before you push it out because you never know, right? First thing that you need to do is open up your SCCM console. You want to go inside administration, go inside overview, updates and servicing, and the update should be there. If it's not there, you're going to click on check for updates, give it some time, and uh, refresh, and it should be there. Now for me, I like to open up my configuration manager, service manager, and uh, connect to my site server. And I like to have the three components or services up and running. This, you don't really need to do this, but I like to check to make sure they're running all the time. First one is the configuration manager update. The second one is the DMP downloader and also the uploader. I just like to make sure those three things are always running behind the scenes, okay? So once your uh, hotfix rollup is ready to install, you can right click on it and you have two options. Now, a lot of my videos that I do with you guys, I always do just go for it, just install the update pack. I mean, a couple of videos I've ran the pre resigate check but when you run it and if it passes and you do this install, it, it doesn't anyway. It's just it's silly. So for this video, I picked run pre resigate check. So I started checking. You are able to highlight it and click on show status. It will take you to the monitoring uh, updates and servicing status. And from here, you can right click on it and show status. But it looks like it's working. So click OK. Uh, you're going to go back. Refresh it like a madman or go grab a cup of coffee, go to lunch, and eventually when you come back, it should say check pass. If not, click on it, check the show status, make sure you fix whatever problems you're having within your SCCM server. Once it passed, what you want to do is highlight it, right click on it. Now you're able to install update pack. From here, uh, you, you don't have to check ignore because you already checked the requirements and it passed. Click on next. I'm gonna leave it as the default as upgrade without validating. Click next, accept the license and terms. Click next again, next, and you get that green check mark and click close. Now give it some time. Uh, this right here should start saying installing. That's a good thing. And if you click on refresh, you should get this. If you get this, this is a good thing. That means that the installation process is almost completed. I would say between 90 to 95%. The only thing that needs to do is kind of update your manager, you know, the console. So click OK. Uh, it's going to close, so don't freak out. And then you're going to get a dialog box that's stating that it's downloading files. Then you're going to get another dialog box saying setup is searching for install applications. And you're going to get this. Give it some time. This right here took between three or five minutes for me. And then once it's processed, you're going to get this. This is awesome. By default, it's going to check off start the configuration manager console after you close the setup wizard click finish and it's going to start connecting to your database if everything works you get this from here you are able to click on administration overview updates and servicing and you will see that kb4462978 is installed great right uh, you can double check the version of your manager so click on the tab go to about configuration manager and you will see that your console version has changed. So that's a good thing. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below if you are having any issues with your SCCM uh, version 1806. Push out the hotfix rollup because there's a lot of problems that this particular hotfix rollup fixes. I will provide the link with all the issues that this kind of like, you know, like put band aids on, right? Uh, if you have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.